hanging with. If you like the game Self Careless, but you're looking for a kind of chaotic way to expand it, then you might want to check out the cat deck. In this version of the game, it'll be a two-player game instead of a solo game. And instead of the kind of head-to-head -head battle two-player version that comes in the basic box, one player will play as the cat who will use the majority of their cards to move around the grid in hopes that they get to spill the human player's coffee and kind of mess things up for them. They also have a couple of different ability cards in their deck that they can play instead of movement, again, to just try and get in the way of the player's progress of having a balanced deck. They also have their own set of coffee cards that they can trigger, and these abilities are a little bit stronger, just like the human's coffee abilities, again, to just try and get in the way and mess up what the human player is trying to do. I said in my previous review of the basic game that I really preferred it as a solo experience. I thought that the puzzle was a lot of fun and really nice, and I didn't really like the two-player variant where you each have your own grid and you're sharing the coffee token and just trying to have a better balanced day than the other player. I liked this as a two-player version a little bit better. I thought that the kind of different goals of the two players were a little bit more interesting to kind of see play out on the table, and I thought that it was interesting to be the cat and again move around that grid just trying to find as many ways as possible to mess up what the human player was doing. I did still think though that the game felt like it was still a little bit of a better experience solo. I thought it was really hard to do well as the cat. Um, because I just thought that there was not like not enough options when you have the different kinds of cards. You can't move off the board or the board doesn't wrap. So if you just got stuck with cards in your hand where you couldn't move to coffee spots easily or you just kept missing the coffee token because the player was moving it out of your way too often, um, it was really difficult to kind of trigger those abilities that made the cat seem like they could have been stronger. But overall, I think that it is a good choice. It is a cool thing to check out if you already like the game and do want to try it out, that two-player experience. But you can check out my full thoughts on this one on the blog today.